In this lecture, we will discuss about a push down automata. A push down automata is basically used to automate uh, the context free language. Earlier, we have seen from the Chomsky hierarchy that to automate a regular grammar or regular language, we use finite state machine, and to automate uh, context free language, you will use push down automata. And to automate uh, context sensitive language, we will use uh, linear bounded automata and uh, to automate uh, unrestricted language, uh, we will use Turing machine. Turing machine that is why it is called uh, universal machine. Now, before uh, go, uh, going into the details of push down automata, let us see that what are the limitations of a finite state machine uh, which leads uh, to the evolvement of push down automata and how push down automata solves those problems. Now, let us see the functional diagram of a uh, finite state machine that we have already discussed earlier. That consists a uh, finite state machine consists of a consists of a control unit, uh, one uh, functional um, uh, input file and uh, one output file and a storage unit. Now, the input file uh, takes the in, uh, from the input file we will take the input to the control unit, control unit process that input and show it as an output and the output may be in the form of a 0 or 1 or may be in the form of a digits or a number and uh, uh, the same value the, the which one is taken from the input file that will be stored in the storage unit. And now look at this so for the problems like this uh, when one alphabet uh, the number of um, uh, one type of alphabet depends on the number of the other alphabet that is one variable is dependent on the others. In such cases it is very difficult to automate it through um, um, <coughs> finite state machine. Suppose if the uh, n number of a is followed by n number of b in such kind of problem where how many number of A has appeared and based on this the same number of B we have to put into that machine. So, that we can check that the equal number of A and equal number of B has appeared within this machine. Uh, we will use um, um, uh, in the machine. So, it can, uh, we have to use one um, storage unit or a memory and that is also infinite memory uh, to check that how many A has appeared and the same number of B will appear later on. So, there is no infinite memory uh, provision is there in case of finite state machine. So, which is the limitation of a finite state machine that is why through finite state machine we cannot automate um, uh, uh, language uh, which is not regular uh, because this language is a context free language. Uh, for this what we will do that we will use the stack data structure through which we can automate <coughs> uh, the same type of language in, in, in number of a that is followed by in number of b. Now, let us see that how uh, using uh, stack data structure um, uh, we can automate this language in number of a and in number of b and uh, look at this this is the functional diagram of a push down automata where uh, we are taking uh, n number of a and n number of b where n equal to where n equal to 3 where n equal to 3 that means 3 a will appears within the control unit and after that a, 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 a 3 b will appear. Now, when a single a comes to the control unit uh, for each a what will you do that we will push one element on top of the stack and uh, for each b we will pop out one a from the, from the stack and ultimately when the input file becomes empty we have to check that whether the stack top is empty or not and stack top empty will be determined by the top of the element z if z appears then we can say that the stack top is now empty now in such cases we can say that that particular language has been uh, automated by the push down automata <laughs> now let us consider first a for each a i will push instead of a we will push 0 1 0 on top of the stack now after that my control input uh, pointer will get changed and again a appears then we will push another 0 on top of the stack. Now, my control pointer will get changed now we will put another 0 on top of the stack. Now, when b appears for 1 b we will pop out 1 we will pop out 1 0 from the we will pop out 1 0 from the stack. Next another b appears now from 1 b we will pop out we will pop out another b from the uh, 0 from the stack. Now, when another b appears we will pop out another 
b from the stack. Now, there is no b present within my input file at the same time my stack top is also empty. Now, we can say that that language is automated by the push down automata. Now, by any means the number of b is uh, suppose the number of b is 4. So, that case what will happen when another b comes on uh, it will find out that on top of the stack there is no 0 present um, uh, so that we can uh, pop out that 0 for that particular b. Uh, uh, we can say that the um, uh, uh, the, 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 the that particular input cannot be automated by the push down automata because our condition is that if a b appears for there should be a 0 must be present on top of the stack um, to pop out that 0. So, we can say that that language cannot be automated by the push down automata and that language cannot be accepted. So, this is the basic principle of a push down automata. Now, uh, let us check uh, how to um, uh, auto, uh, write the entire process through instantaneous description. So, what is instantaneous description? Instantaneous description uh, is a process through which the entire string that is given to that machine uh, as per the rule of the machine how we can go to the uh, 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 in, uh, in, um, initial state or the sorry uh, how can we can go to the final state of the machine. So, it is quite like just opposite to the uh, uh, derivation process that we have seen in case of um, context uh, regular language. In regular language what we have seen that if I want to derivate uh, grammar suppose a s b slash lambda uh, we are derivating a to a s b then this s will again uh, be replaced this s will again get replaced and ultimately we are going to get triple a lambda triple b. So, every time we are replacing every time we are replacing uh, this s with a s b right. Now, uh, this uh, entire process this step by step process this step by step process is called the derivation through which from the start symbol we are getting the string and in case of push down automata while what we will do we will do the just opposite thing we will do the just opposite thing. Uh, that uh, will take uh, the string and from that string how we are going to the start symbol. They we can say that this one is my top down approach, this one is my top down approach and this one is my bottom up approach. Now, when this bottom up approach uh, is been evolved that case instead of using this symbol of derivation tree we will use another symbol that symbol is called instantaneous description instantaneous description or id instantaneous description or or id. Now, let us see uh, through instantaneous description how we can uh, show the entire description of a push down automata. Suppose for this uh, example L g equal to a n b n where n greater than equal to 0. Now, first delta suppose consider any arbitrary string four a and four b. Now, what will you do that initially my state is q 0 and I am taking the input four a and four b and my stack top element is 0. So, here we have to denote three things in case of instantaneous description the initial state input string and stack top element. <coughs> now, when an a appears suppose uh, here I am drawing the stack element only here I am drawing the stack element right now the stack top element is z. Now, my strings are 4 a and 4 b right. 
my strings are 4 a and 4 b. Now, initially when uh, a comes then it must be push. Now, as the push operation started that means the change mode of change of operation has started on, 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 on to my stack. Now, in my stack there may be two types of operation either pushing any element on the stack or pop out any element on top of the from top of the stack. Now, when the push operation started that will be indicated by the change of state means my state will get changed from q0 to q1. And one 0 will appear on top of the stack. I'll, uh, 0 is the top of the stack element and z is the next to top element. This is my top of stack element and this is next to top. Next again start it sorry. another a will be pushed on top of the stack and the operation is same. So, I will not change the state as the mode of operation is not changed. Again it will remain q 1 a 4 b triple 0 z push operation is going on again q 1 4 b 4 0 z next when a b appears on top of the stack in the same time i am uh, entering the element on top of the stack first way then another a then another a then another a now when b appears i will pop out one a from the stack i will pop out one element from the stack pop one element from the stack so how do uh, how to um, represent the pop uh, pop uh, pop uh, out element uh, from the uh, on top of uh, from the stack so that will be represented by the mode of change of state that means my state is uh, changing from q1 to q2 which indicates that um, the after the push operation the pop operation has started and here i will write one lambda lambda shows that earlier there was a zero which has been popped due to the b Mm, uh, appearance of b again it remains q2 then bb then lambda 0 0 z again it remains q2 then b then lambda 0 z then q2 lambda as b has appeared and it will become lambda z now my input file is lambda and my top of the stack element is also lambda. Now, I can say that both of them are empty. So, I can say that it reaches the final state and I can write qfz. So, this is the entire process of instantaneous description through which from the string we are reaches to the final state, um, which is rather contrary to the uh, derivation process uh, on which we are starting with the initial uh, start symbol and going to the string. Now, how to write the transition functions altogether? Now, transition functions will be written like this delta my initial state delta my initial state is q 0 and uh, when a appears on top of the stack it becomes q 1 then 0 z this one uh, sorry uh, sorry not this one this one q 1 to 0 z next again at q 1 when a appears my top of the stack element is 0 z it will become q 1 0 0 and after that 0 0 there is one z is also there but what i will do that i will write only the top two element of the stack that is why i will remove that z you can write top three element also but you have to maintain all uh, throughout the problem uh, the entire uh, sequence of this 0 next again when q1 is there and b appears and top of the stack element is 0 0 then i can write that my mode has been changed from push operation to pop operation which has been indicated by the change of q1 to q2 and it becomes lambda and it will also become lambda 0 now again 
q 2 b appears my top of the stack elements are 0 0 it will show you q 2 lambda sorry this lambda is not required I have to write only lambda lambda 0. Now, next q 2 my input file is lambda there is no elements are present in my input file and my top of the stack element is also lambda z I can write it as a q f z. So, this is the entire procedure this this portion is my transition function and this portion is my instantaneous description. Now, let us see uh, and another question is why I am pushing 0 instead of an a when a appears and I am popping out that 0 for the one b appears. Now, this uh, answer we can give when we solve the next problem. Suppose, another uh, problem is given uh, that automate that machine using push down automata that is l g equal to a n b twice n where n greater than equal to 0. That means, for 1 a there must be 2 b appears and uh, if n uh, 3 numbers of b appear then 6 uh, 3 numbers of a appears then 6 numbers of b must appear. Suppose, I am taking uh, one arbitrary string that is double a and 4 b. Now, how to automate it using push down automata? This first write down this instantaneous description. So, q 0 double a sorry and 4 b z is there. Now, as uh, if I insert a single a uh, in inside it and when 4 b will come the for 1 b if I have to pop out 1 a. So, in that case only 2 for 2 b all the a will remain uh, uh, get pops out and it will it is not going to prove me that for equal number of a the double number of b appears. So, for this what will you do that for a single a appears we will push out push 2 0. So, that uh, it proves that for single a uh, 2 0 is being appearing. Now, for 2 a uh, 4 0 will get pushed into on top of the stack and I have 4 b again. So, for each b I will pop out 1 0. So, that it gets balanced that uh, the uh, uh, double number of b appears uh, uh, with respect to 2 a and we can uh, prove that the uh, the machine has been accepted by the push down automata. That is why instead of an a we are pushing out 0 uh, in, in, in this kind of problem. So, it is not like that in all problems we have to push uh, some different symbols. So, we can push the same uh, symbols also that we will show you uh, in another problem. Now, what will you do that we will change the mode because the push operation has started and for 1 a we are going to push 2 0. Again another a comes we are going to push 2 0. Now, when b comes for 1 b we are going to pop out 1 0 and my state will get changed from q 1 to q 2 and it will become lambda 3 0 z. Next again q 2 for 1 b sorry for 1 b will pop out another 0 it will become lambda 0 0 z. Now, for another b will pop out lambda 0 z. Now, q 2 lambda lambda z and it will become q f z. Now, what should be my instantaneous description my instant uh, sorry uh, my transition function my transition function would be q 0 a z it will become q 1 0 0 z then again q 1 a 0 0 it will become q 1 
0 0 actually 4 0 z is there, but we are not going to write the other other elements we will write only the top two elements of the stack then q 1 b 0 0 it will become q 2 lambda 0 then q 2 b 0 0 it will become q 2 lambda 0 next is q 2 lambda lambda z it will become q of z hope this thing is clear now uh, let us uh, come back to the formal definition of a uh, push down automata the formal definition is a non deterministic Sometimes it is written as non deterministic push down acceptor also. By the septuple, septuple means seven tuple. Septuple, what are the septuple? Q, sigma, delta, Q0, Z, and F. What is Q? as usual internal state. So, for this problem for this problem how many internal states are there we have q 0 sorry q 1 q 2 and q f what is that it is alphabet so what are the alphabets here 0 1 input alphabet and uh, this symbol means stack alphabet what are the stack alphabet present so in stack sorry this one is a and b i am sorry stack alphabet is 0 what and z 1 is not required over here only we can write 0 and 1 also and then transition function in transition function what we are writing the uh, state then input and the stack top element right so we are writing stack alphabet means q cross sigma union lambda that means lambda can also be taken as an input and also the stack alphabet uh, and it is ultimately bringing you to q cross stack alphabet only. So, this is the definition of a uh, transition functions and initial state q 0 is the initial state. So, you in this case also you have taken initial state as q 0 and then q f is the final state. We also take we have also taken q f as the final state and what is z z as the stack start symbol z is also the stack start symbol so this is the formal definition of a push down automata now let us uh, see another problem to make the concept more clear suppose if i consider a language means that uh, whatever be the string is given to you 
uh, that number of a and number of b uh, is should be equal the string may be a b a a b b or uh, i can take a string may be a b a then uh, a b a uh, then b a b a b means whatever be the sequence it will not bother about the sequence just the equal number of a and equal number of b will come and in that case uh, the push pop operation may comes at any moment and uh, um, uh, in contrary to the uh, uh, last problem where the push operation will take place first and then pop operation now here what will you do that when a comes we will push that a when b comes we will pop out uh, one a for that b so that is the simple concept that we are going to use now let us take any arbitrary string suppose uh, let us take this string only now if we write q0 and uh, as the push and pop operations are coming in an arbitrary manner uh, so we are not going to change the state to uh, show the change of mode of operation because change of op mode of operation can take place any random manner so what we are doing a b a a b b and stack top element is z now when a comes we will push that element on to the on top of the stack then it becomes a z sorry it should be instantaneous description next when another b comes for that b what i will do i will pop out one element from top of the stack next when a comes we will push again another a comes we will push that element on top of the stack next when b comes we will pop out one element on from the stack next again b comes it becomes lambda and it will also become lambda z now it becomes lambda to lambda z then it will ultimately becomes qfz and will reach the final state so this is the uh, actually we should write this we should write this here sorry it should be q f z it should be q f z fine now how to write the uh, transition functions in that case the transition function uh, this one is instant id you can write it as id or instant description and this one will be transition function now transition function is delta q0 when a comes and top of the stack is empty then it will be <coughs> q0 az suppose it may happen that instead of a b comes first that case also it will take bz next q0 a comes and top of the element is az then it will become q0 aa -A. next when q0 a comes top of the element is a a that case also it will become q 0 a a next instead of a if it b comes top of the element is b z then it will take q 0 b b next q 0 b comes top of the element is b b then also it will be b b next is if the opposite things comes a top of the element is b b then it will be q 0 lambda b next lambda q 0 b a a then it should be q 0 lambda a next q 0 lambda lambda z all the inputs are empty then it will be QFZ. So, this is the entire transition functions for this machine. Now, let us try another problem. <coughs> A 
L j equal to omega omega r that problem we have already solved that this one is not a regular this one is a context free and it is not possible to automate this machine using uh, finite state machine. So, omega r is the reverse of omega and omega belongs to a comma b star. Okay. This is basically a palindrome. So, how to automate a palindrome using finite state machine? Suppose, what are the examples of a palindrome? So, if you take the examples of a palindrome, suppose if omega equal to a b a, then omega r will also be a b a, means the entire string will be a b a then a b a and there will be mirror symmetrical point and uh, before the mirror symmetry, uh, this one is the mirror symmetry of this one like this. Suppose, if I consider uh, omega equal to a b b, then omega r will be b b a and the entire string will be a b b b b sorry b b a this is along the mirror symmetry or if I consider a a b omega then omega r will be b a a. Now, in that case what I have to find out that we have to find out the mirror symmetrical point first up to mirror symmetrical the concept of this operation is that up to mirror symmetrical point we will push out the elements irrespective of whether it is a or b. When b comes then for we will check that on top of the stack whether the same element is present or not means when b comes top of the element should be b then for the input file element b the top of the element b will get popped out. When a comes we must have to ensure that the top of the stack element must be a and for the input file element a we have to pop out that a on top of the stack. Now, by any means the input file element is a and the stack top element is b that case it will go to the halting state or the trapping state because it is not being accepted by the machine. So, this is the basic concept. So, how to implement this one? First, we have to find out the mirror symmetric point because the up to mirror symmetric point push operation will happen and after the mirror symmetric point either pop operation or halting operation uh, or the reject operation will happen. Now, uh, to find out the uh, mirror symmetric point what we have to do that we have to divide the entire string uh, to find out the middle point or the minio, uh, median point of that machine and after the finding out the median point we will go up to the mirror symmetric point as the push operation only. Now, suppose take any instantaneous uh, take the instantaneous description or I D how to proceed with the I D process. Now, suppose take any arbitrary element suppose A B B B B A Q 0 A B B B B A and Z. Now, when the push operation will start it will change uh, the say, same thing will remain because up to the mirror symmetric point push operation will happen only. So, it becomes q 0 then b b b b a a z then when another b comes 3 b a b a z. q 0 b b a then b b a z. Then for this b one b will get popped out means it uh, comes to the it, uh, it uh, comes in the mirror symmetric point. So, what we have to do that we will change the state of q 1 and it will remain same we are not going to make any change by changing the state only it will uh, it will assure that the mirror symmetric point has been reached. Now, when the mirror symmetric point is uh, reached now what will you do that for 1 b 1 b on from the top of the stack will get popped out. Now, for another b it will pop out sorry 
it will pop out another b next q1 lambda lambda z then it will become qfz now write down the transition function delta q0 az it will be q0 az when delta because uh, up to mirror symmetric point whatever the element comes it will remain the same delta a a a or sub, suppose az then it will become q0 a a then delta q0 b z it will become delta q 0 b z delta q 0 b b z it will remain in delta q 0 b b now suppose delta q 0 a on top of the stack is b then it will become delta q 0 a b q 0 b top of the stack is a z then it will become q 0 b a q 0 b a now after the mirror symmetry point has been reached after the symmetric point symmetric point is being reached is being reached how it will notify that the symmetric point is being reached q0 lambda means uh, it is not uh, changing no change has been done just to notify that mirror symmetric point has been reached it will change the state and the top of the element will also remain same irrespective of whether a or b if top of the element is a it will remain a if the top of the element is b it will remain b then the operation will start to match omega r and delta q1 a top of the element is a a sorry top of the element should be uh, ha, same if the top of the element must be same then what it will do q1 lambda delta q1 top of the element is a b sorry lambda a this one will be a lambda b q1 b top of the element is b b then it will be q1 lambda b q1 top of the element is b a q1 lambda a next delta q1 lambda lambda z when the elements no elements are present then it will be qfz it must be qfz and the machine is reached to the final state so this is the way to how to automate the string so there are other problems are also present any types of problems uh, which is not a regular uh, it's a context free we can easily um, automate it uh, using uh, push down automata.